course, us come on, well, good, in, good evening, Genki Deska. Hope you are Genki Des. Hope you're well, um, and uh, all health and healthy and safe, etc. Um, I'm mucking around with my camera this evening, so I'm just going to see how how it will work. Um, <clears throat> I'm done portrait mode again this evening because the intention is to do um, uh, basso die, and uh, it works better in portrait from a camera perspective. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, bigger room. <laughs> it's amazing what a camera can do, isn't it? So, so we've moved the table back again. I've got the tripod on the on the table. Um, no one can use the kitchen. To be fair, no one can use the living room now because all the chairs are in there. So, um, I've kicked the family out of the house, to be perfectly honest. So, I hope you appreciate it. Um, so, Basso die this evening, as much as we can do in about an hour. Um, might not get the whole lesson um, uh, done this evening in terms of the whole kata, but we will do our, our very best. Um, what's really bizarre is that on my screen um, that I'm looking at, I'm tiny and I don't really understand why uh, things are, are like that. So I can't actually see anything that you're putting at this moment in time. Let's see if I can uh, adjust this. Um, that's not super helpful. Okay, so give me one second. Um, yeah. Don't know what's going on there, but all of your comments are not going to come through, I don't think. Um, let me just see if I can change this at all. Right, okay, of course. Swipe left to reveal comments. There we go, okay, us. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me. And um, Harry's already saying goodbye. Ah, good evening and goodbye, Harry. Uh, us. Good evening, Tim. Good evening, Andy. Uh, good evening, Michaela and Betsy. Us. Looks good to you. That's awesome. That's excellent. Uh, good evening, Ashley. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Magdalena. Good evening, Isaac. Um, all the Dickinsons watching. That's good. The whole family. Good evening, Ken Sensei. Hope you're well. Um, us, Andy Sensei. Hope you're well. And uh, hopefully, I will be able to. Uh, I can't see myself now. I can see your comments, but not myself. Tell me what's going on. Um, uh, I think it's probably to do with me actually. My FaceTime has stopped recognising me. Uh, not FaceTime, my Face ID. So um, I think it's the, the hair as it becomes longer and longer. The good news is it's booked in for a haircut. So we're going to attempt bath side dye this evening as much as I can in the kitchen. And um, it, I'm going to pre warn um, anybody below the grade of purple belt. This will be different for you, it'll be more challenging. Um, but hopefully, a lot of fun. So just have a go, for, go, go with it and uh, enjoy yourselves. Um, remember, it doesn't matter if you can't learn it in one lesson. I don't think anybody could probably learn this kata in one lesson. But um, some of the moves are very basic, but it is a long kata. So um, it'll be interesting, I think, for the lower grades to see this because it's really good fun. Good evening, Kayla. And so I, I hope, you, hope you'll enjoy it. Um, it's one of my personal favourites. Never used to be, but um, has been for quite a few years now. Um, it's a strong, powerful kata. And um, I really enjoy doing it. I did it for my sixth dan a couple of years ago um, as part of my catas that I had to do, and I really enjoyed doing it that day. Um, so it's, it's one of those catas I'm very fond of. Um, less so it's other brother or sister. That's I show. Yeah, I was the sensei about that one. <coughs> um, so, so what we do is um, we'll, get, we'll get a quick warm up going and then we'll get starting. Good evening, Caleb. Us and uh, then we'll start trying Basso Dai. So this kata is for higher grade brown belts. Um, so we start teaching it around uh, purple and, sorry, purple, brown. Uh, brown. Brown and two whites and above, uh, brown and red, that sort of level. So it's quite a high second cue, first cue kata. Um, <clears throat> and you do it from pretty much that point forever. Uh, you can get be given any grading, as, as I was indeed. So it's really, really interesting kata. Um, as I said, there is another one uh, called Basai Show. So there's two in this series of, of Basai kata. Um, and we're doing Dai. So Dai means major, and Show means uh, minor or one, okay, the, the, the first level. Bizarrely, the first level comes after the, the major, but that, that's, that's karate, okay. So us, let's just get going. Too much talking, that's per normal, us. Okay, so just, um, Doing your arms, rotating your arms forwards and backwards. Okay, take so your left arm forwards and your right arm back and change and change and change. Arms stretching wide. Okay, 
and okay, crossing over the back. So I think this evening it's important that you let me know if I'm kind of missing bits because I'm out of screen. Um, I can't see myself at all this evening, so I'm just looking into the lenses with a rough idea of where I might be in the dojo. Um, so it would be helpful if you, uh, if you see any problems to point them out. I can see your comments now, but I can't see myself, so that's probably a good thing, to be perfectly honest. So remember, all we're doing here is just loosening off the upper body. Okay, hopefully you've done a little bit of warm-up like me beforehand. Um, I've done the kata about three or four times already, just to get the body warmed up. So I have, I have a lot of space here to my left, and, um, but bizarrely the kata doesn't go left or right. This one is very much forward and backwards and not really using a huge amount on side, which is why I've turned the cam to portraits. I think it works better. The issue with uh, landscape was that it was cutting the feet off and I don't think you're going to see everything. So I'm hoping this will work, fingers crossed. Um, let's, let's see how it goes. I've got a... I'm just going to turn this other camera off because it's annoying me. Um, and I'm going to see if I can bring your comments back up. Good evening Thomas, us, evening Christian, and good evening, uh, yeah, landscape does not work best in this one I'm afraid, it really doesn't, you won't see me for half the kata, okay, um, it really, really doesn't work, um, but bizarrely my, my other phone is now in landscape, so it's completely cut off my feet, I don't know what on earth is going on with it this evening, but there you go, uh, right, so, what we're going to do is get going regardless, us, and I will work on your feedback. Okay, so uh, Basta Dai then, this is uh, Storm in the Fortress Major. Okay, that's one of the descriptive uh, ways of saying it. Um, it's a high grade brown belt kata, very, very uh, good and strong to do, us Andy. Um, and so uh, that's what our intention is to do this evening. See how far we get, we might finish it, we might not. I don't want to rush it, I'd rather do it slow and do it correctly, us. So first of all, great, us. So like Teki Shodan, which we did on Tuesday, we're going to um, uh, use a second yoi position. So we've done our bow, okay, just into this yoi position. So, right, and yoi, and then you would say the kata basai dai, okay, and again you say that nice and loud to the front, okay, and then the yoi position on here, so you take the right foot in and the right hand in, same as we did on Teki on Tuesday, and you take your thumb and you place it in top of your right fist. Now your right fist is tatty. Tatty means vertical here. Close the hand around it, okay? And then drop the hand so then naturally just sort of relax in the elbows. You should feel on your, your rib cage as you naturally drop, so drop this. Okay, so now this position here is called Jiai no Kamai, okay? And I was taught that um, by uh, Ken Sensei, okay? And um, uh, some years ago, and that was very kind of him, so I had a better understanding of what this particular yoi position was called, because uh, I've never been, never been taught that, or never even found that out actually. So from this position, Jai no Kamai, we take our first move, okay? And the first move, if you think of the name of the kata, Storm in the Fortress, this has to be strong and powerful, and I can't emphasise that enough. This is a kata that needs to really kind of go forward with an almost an explosion of power, okay? So bow and yoi, okay, and then yoi, jiai no kamai position, okay, and you're going to take your right knee up, okay, send up the centre of the body, and as you do, you bring your hands to the side, or almost, almost like koshi kamai, but not quite, because you need to keep this position, okay, so feet together here, knee up, and push, and you're, you're pushing the wrist, okay, and the arm, as if, um, I think more like a back fist than it is a uchi uchi type feeling. And your hand, okay, take your uh, middle finger, so your third metacarpal, and, and place it just beneath the crease of the wrist. Okay, so just there, that's the correct height. So not down here, not closed fist, but here. I really hope this is coming across okay, because I can't see a thing um, uh, in terms of feedback wise. So, so that's, that's where we're going. So we're. I'm going to try and come a bit closer to, to the lens, hopefully not too close. So the knee comes up, hands to the side, and push here. Okay, this, this wants to be about your chin height. And your stance, now your stance, you're in cross leg stance. Uh, Kozadachi, Kozadachi. Okay, so once more. Basai dai. Ayoi. And knee up, each, and push in. 
Okay, and check, check this position here. Check this position here. Okay, so that's, that's move one of the kata. Uh, right. Oh, I really don't know what's going on with my, um, my feedback screen. I hope you're not getting a 35, 40 second delay, because I certainly am. Um, so, once more we go from that position, and then I'll show you the next two moves. The first group of moves are actually really simple, basic, uh, sotoryuki ushuki techniques. It's just remembering which way and which arm to use. So that's what we'll need to work on, I think, to start with. Okay, so ready? And yoi. And bath side dai. Yoi. Okay, so GI in open wide position. Remember to relax those shoulders. Bring up the knee, hands to the side, and push. Okay, then look over your left shoulder. Okay, your left leg is behind your right leg, so your left leg will move next. Look over your left shoulder. As you turn your left arm, okay, underneath, uchiyuki in zenkatsudachi. Uchiyuki in zenkatsudachi, so inside lock in front stance. And then we're going to do the next move because it makes sense. Inside lock with the right arm. And that's called gyaku because it's the opposite. Gyaku because it's the opposite. So I'm going to show you the other way. So from this position um, here, from the first technique, we'll turn the left arm and left leg here. Hips are maybe a hand knee because we're doing a block. And then hips in because we're doing gyaku. Okay, so that's the reverse, so you can see it from the other, other angle. So we've done the yoi position here, here, turn, uchiyuki here, gyaku uchiyuki here. Okay, so back to the beginning, and right, and yoi, say kata, bas side right, and yoi. So knee up, each. So you can see the power there, power that we need. I'm doing it slow for you this evening, I hope you so you can follow. Look over your left shoulder, tuck your left arm underneath your right arm. Uchiyuki, inside block front stance, each. Hips are hand knee, half facing. And knee, gyaku. Gyaku. And you're right. Inside block, inside block. One is natural, as in the same leg, same arm, uh, uchiyuki, and the other one is gyaku, or opposite leg, opposite arm. Okay? So always remember that in your head. Gyaku just means whatever leg is out, the other hand should be out, not the same side. Not the same side. Okay, so us. Ayoi. And same kata again, once more. Bas side dai. Ayoi. Bring a knee up and strike. Look behind, turn inside block each, and right arm inside block on the spot knee. Okay, moving on, moving on. Back leg across now, outside block, sotoburyuki. Gyaku again, gyaku, gyaku. Okay, so. What I said about the beginning is this, this is going to be a little bit uh, complicated to follow, I think, for some of the others, um, for some of the younger grades. Um, my other camera, I've just started the warm-up. So I'm going to see if I can get this lesson to turn into being live. I don't think it's going to let me, but let's try. You never know. for this evening so I can't see any of your comments or anything now I'm so sorry um, but I'm hoping you're all gonna still be there um, technology is awesome when it works but when it doesn't it's shocking okay nearly there No, I, I can't do that. So hopefully I might still be able to get your comments as they come through. I'm so sorry if I can't. It's, uh, it's not me, it's the uh, technology. Okay, so we, we, we're going to continue anyway, regardless. And whether you can see me or not, I'm going to do this kata quite a bit this evening. I'm hoping you can. Okay, bath side right. A, a your weak position. Okay. So first of all, right. Yoi. And say kata, bath side right. A your 
GI Noka mine, of course. Okay, and knee up, each. Okay, so dropping down body weight into Kozadachi cross leg stance. Okay, and then when we turn, we're looking first, remember, turning Uchiuki inside block. And then on the spot, Gyaku Uchiuki on the spot. Okay, looking over at my right shoulder as I turn, your position, Soto Uchiuki, Gyaku. Gyaku, again, because we're um, on the opposite leg. And then inside block again. So, Soto Uchiuki, Uchiuki. Soto Uchiuki, so you can see the hips change. Hip in, hip out. Awesome. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'll show you that as a combination. Okay, and then I'll turn the other way. Um, I don't know if that helps or not me turn the other way. I find it very confusing from a teaching perspective, particularly when I've got no feedback. Um, but I will do both to show you just at the beginning. Okay. Bath side, right? Yoi. Each. Ni. Sun. Back leg across. Shi. Go. Okay, again. And then we will move on to the next stage. Okay. I, I do appreciate that for uh, the lower grades, this is moving too quickly for you, um, and you're not going to learn this cat of the evening. But please don't worry about that, and, and please don't think it's my intention to teach you it. But I do need to uh, do some, some higher grade katas for the higher grades. And I think it's just a really good exposure for you to have a go. Um, I learned Niji Shiho as a green belt, I think it was. And that's the second or third, third down uh, kata. Um, and so, so, so that's a, a really, really good um, uh, way of just doing it. You go on a course or training session and pick it up. You remember little bits then when you're taught it, it becomes easier, etc. So, always good to have a go. And remember, no one can see you. So, it doesn't matter. Bath side, right? Yoi. So, we're going to go to the next stage of the kata, okay? So, we're going to take our right knee up again. GI and open my positions to here. And strong, strong pushing technique, bashing, storming that fortress, looking, yoi position, inside block, uchi uki. A inside block, Gyaku Uchiuki. Bring the arm around, Soto Uchiuki. Again, all in Zen Kutsudachi, Uchiuki. Here, hips are handy. Then come down and up. Outside block, right arm. Inside block, Gyaku, left arm. Okay, so if I go back from this position here, so we've done the Soto Uchiuki uh, Gyaku. Uchiuki here, step forward, here, did that too fast, I'm going to slow it down, I enjoy this kata, I can't help it, so from here, this position here, to here, come here, outside block right leg, inside block on the spot, yaku, yaku meaning opposite, awesome. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I have absolutely zero feedback, so you're going to tell me at the end of the lesson, Sensei, that was utter rubbish and I didn't understand any of it. Um, but I can't do anything <laughs> about that because nothing's working this evening. I do hope you're still recording though um, and, and, and playing it live. Uh, yeah, there's, there's really nothing I can do. Um, well. At this moment in time, I've just played Tuesday's lessons back, so I'm starting to question myself, are you actually even there at all? And was I just reading back Tuesday's lesson? My screen, other screen, says you're all still there, so I'm blooming hoping so, but there you go. Okay, ready, horse. Anyway. So we we'll continue to from the beginning, so we're only going to go up to that position there. Okay, as I said, these are very basic techniques, sotoryuki and uchiyuki. Okay, but it's really just concentrating on what arm you're using and what leg you're using. Once you get this, and it doesn't take long, it's a little bit like techie on Tuesday, a little bit tricky to start with, but it's a pretty simple kata um, from a starting perspective, I think. So we'll get up to the first kiai, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so once more, right? Oss. 
and your wheat, and say the kata basaida, right? So near and inch. Now you're looking over your shoulder, yoi position, turning, remember the left leg is behind the right leg, and cross leg stance, kozadachi, turn inside block, front stance, each, and yakumi. Okay, then from here, the right arm will come out, sotoryuki, yaku, sotoryuki, yaku. So your hip is shonen, front facing, of course. Then, uchiyuki, with the right arm, yi, uh, uh, hanmi, half facing. This position is a transition to outside block. Soto ryuki, outside block in Zen Kutsudachi. Yaku uchiyuki. Okay, so once more I'll repeat that, that combination again. So, right, and your wing. And say the kata basai dai. Yoi. Nia in each. Looking first, left arm underneath. Ni. Sun. Shi. Go. Rok. Sich. Ha. Koshi Kamai. Koshi Kamai Hachi Dachi. Open leg stance. Koshi Kamai Hachi Dachi. Okay, so relax in your way for a second. Uh, hopefully, you have in your dojo water. I have two huge glasses this evening. Um, for a persistent headache that I've had all day. Okay, so that's just the first five or six moves of the kata. Okay, and we're edging towards the first ki eye. Um, a lot of people think that's then halfway, it's not even a tenth of the way, no, it's about a fifth of the way. So, let's continue. Okay, so, say the kata, basai dai. Yoi, jiai no kamai. So, bring that right knee up, bring the hands just above the left hip. Okay, don't bring them too far behind here. And push, push, push. Yeah. You can hear that hopefully, so as we're pushing the person away, okay? Or attack it, depending upon how you do the bunkai with this. Okay, so from here, left arm, inside block, each, hami, yaku, or shoman, hip front facing, right leg, back round, soft horyuki with the left arm, shoman with the hips, that means they're front facing, yaku, uh, sorry, uchiyuki, Hanmi. Striking outside block. Zenkutsudachi. And Kuchuki. Zenkutsudachi but Yaku. Yaku. Left leg or the back leg. Step up to Hachidachi. Hachidachi. Okay. So once more. Right. Yoi. And basadai, ayoi, and each. Turning left leg, left arm, inside block, knee. Right arm, inside block, sound. Right leg across, left arm, sotoryuki, each. Knee, sound, shi. Go. Rock. Tati. Tati shuto. Vertical. Tati shuto. So from Koshi Kamai, Tati shuto. Okay, we're going to continue into the next move because they uh, work together the same. Okay. But the way I teach this and the way I describe this to students is um, imagining that you are a white belt and it's your first lesson and you're taught your first karate technique. And then put yourself five or six years in front of that and imagine you're a black belt and you're doing a black belt technique. Because I think this is the best way I've found to describe this. This is just my way. Um, so from this position, this Koshka my position, I'm coming closer just so you can see this. So this is uh, how you do your first technique in karate, Chokuzuki. So Chokuzuki straight punch here yeah, as a white belt. 
then transition, brain, head, think, <coughs> black belt. And you're going to change your stance. So from here, from open leg hachidachi stance, Shokazuki point here. If we come to the chest, change our mindset into a black belt, and we're doing an uchiyuki type feeling, but changing into motodachi. Motodachi uh, twisted stance. So twisted stance. So it's like a very short front stance, very short. Um, some people confuse it with judachi fighting stance. It's not the same because you're twisting your hip, twisting your hip as you do this. And then you come at the other side and repeat. Go back to being a white belt because it's good to be in a white belt. Off the chest, uchiyuki motodachi. So again, this this transition move here. So push out, tati tati, punch straight off the chest. Inside block, motodachi. Punch straight, off the chest, inside block, motodachi. Okay, so we're going to repeat that a few times whilst doing the kata. I just thought to come a little bit closer to the camera. I hope I'm not too close. I'm sorry about that if I am. Um, but I can't see anything. <laughs> so, so, so hopefully you understand. So this analogy of being a white belt, switching our brain into a black belt, I'm hoping that will help you definitely helps me with that mindset in terms of thinking what I'm doing. And this just comes off of your chest sort of height, okay, inside block feeling. So don't tuck it underneath the arm, off the chest, here. Okay, punch straight off the chest, here. Punch straight off the chest, drop it. So right arm will be first, left arm will be second. So we'll start from the cat to go up to that point. Nice and slow again. And us. And that side, right? Okay, so right knee up. Each. Looking first. Behind move the left leg, left arm block, inside block. Ish. And right arm inside block on the spot. Knee. Gyaku. Gyaku. Right leg moves across. Left arm soto yuki. Ich. And right arm uchuki knee. Come up and step forward. Soto yuki. Ich. And left arm, Gyakuzuki, Gyakuchuki, knee. Koshikamai, Hachidachi, open leg stance, pushing out, Tati Shuto. Punching straight, off the chest, drop the hip, Motodachi. Come back to Hachidachi for Chokuzuki, white belt, Uchuki, black belt. And yeah. Okay, so we're creeping towards the first ki. Uh, we have a few more moves to do, to do uh, but good thing is they're all the same, okay? Um, to a point, and then we have a fabulous kick, which will be a little bit different. Okay, so, that's all right. And G.I. no kamai, yoi. When you're in this position, or when you're in techie position, or in future katas, you'll be in a different yoi position than open legs for most of the katas that we do. Um, just if you're ever your feet are together in, in high sukadachi, your feet together stance, just relax. So just relax. Don't bolt upright and lock your knees out. Don't push, drop your knees down like so. Just take the weight out of your knees. Okay, be more natural. Natural. Okay, so right knee up. Each. Drop your shoulders. Keep them relaxed as you turn inside block. Each. And inside block knee. So Toruki outside block each. Hips at showman. Knee, hips at hand knee. Come up and strike forward. So Toruki, right leg. Inside block, left arm, Yaku. Left leg back, Hoshikamai, hip position. Remember, we've done this before in uh, Teki Kata and he and um, Yongdan as well. Okay, pushing forwards. Punch straight, off the chest, drop the hip. Straight, off the chest, drop the hip. Now, nice and simple, he says. Left arm, yoi position, right arm, step forward, shutoki. And then step forward again, shutoki. And one more shutoki. And step back, shutoki. So I thought I'd rush that and show you the full move so you kind of understand where we're going. So this is where we're moving forwards, we're not moving far in terms of width of this kata at all, which is why I said to you it's better shot in portrait. 
in, in, um, in landscape, unfortunately, you were losing me after the first shoot over. Um, so that's no point in doing that because you won't see anything else. So, so important to understand that when we're in this position here, the Koshikamai, we push out, punch straight off the chest, drop the hip, punch straight off the chest, drop the hip, and then your position. One, two, three, and back four. Okay, so I'm going to show you that now slowly within the kata. Okay, right knee up, each turn knee, inside block sun, outside block she, inside block go, come block, and sitch, hutch, go, jo. Juich, Juni, right leg forward, Shutoki, Ich, and Shutoki, Ni, Shutoki, Sam, and Shutoki, step back, Shi. So three forwards, one back, three forwards, one back. Okay, that's what you need to remember and remind yourself of in your head. Okay, I'm going to quickly see if I can resolve the issues with my. Um, other camera, phone, thing, whatever it's called, and talk to you whilst I turn it all off and see if a reboot will work um, so I can get an idea of your comments. I'm truly hoping you're all still there, otherwise I'm just going to enjoy doing the kata myself and uh, continue teaching it to myself. I think it says I'm still live. Yep. It says I'm live, but I can't actually tell anything. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping you're still there and I can still be seen. Um, so for juniors that are learning this kata this evening, I um, hope you're finding it interesting. It's an exciting kata um, and there's still the best bits to come. So we've not even touched on the good bits yet. Uh, and, and again, obviously higher grades. Um, you know, when was the last time you did this? Um, it could have been last week. It could have been, hopefully not March, but it could have been. Okay, because you may not have a in a position where you're able to train at the moment. So, um, you know, hopefully it's going to be a refresher for yourselves. Um, unfortunately, it's not a great lesson to post uh, on the uh, Facebook page because there's so much stopping and starting with me trying to work out technology. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to continue then um, and repeat those moves up to the fourth and final shoot wiki. Okay, because then things change. Okay, um, and we're almost at the key away. Bass side eye, and you wait. So right leg in, right hand underneath, left thumb, close around the fist, close around the fist. Okay, so we're in your position, GI no kamai. Take the right knee up, hands to the side, and push. Okay, look over your left shoulder, left arm underneath, right hand on top. Keep your shoulders low, don't uh, hunch up. Here, turn inside block, thumb stance. Okay, so remember here, hand me, half facing. Okay, and as you do the kyaku inside block, your hips become shown, front facing, front facing. Right leg across, left arm, soft holy looking. Okay, inside block, hand me. Showman and hand me. Come here, outside block, inside block. Now you may notice that when you do the gyaku, yeah, your front foot will naturally slide back ever slightly, an inch, half an inch, something like that. And that's because when we put the hips into showman, we naturally bring that foot back. There's a, there's a connection with the hip, okay? And, and that's a good thing. So don't, please don't worry if you think you're worried about your foot moving. It doesn't work this way, just when we do the reverse, here. Okay, so left leg, hachidachi, comes back, koshi kamai. So here you're just relaxing your shoulders, left hand sitting on top of the right hand, push out. Tati Shuto. This is a, just a yoi position, okay? Um, for the lower grades, anyway. High grades are something different. But then we punch straight off the chest, drop the hip. Motodachi. Punch straight, hachidachi, off the chest, motodachi. Okay, so him from here, I'll probably have to shorten my stance so we fit in. But Shutoki, knife hand block. Again, and third time. And then back shutoki, here. 
Now we're going to continue from here and I think this is, for me, was the hardest part of this pattern to learn and it took me ages. So uh, please um, don't feel that this is necessarily going to, we're not together. I'm teaching you in the kitchen, okay? And um, I, I found this difficult so I can assume only the seeing it from a, from a TV screen, it's not gonna be easy to learn. So the key thing here is shiitake, back stance, heels are in line. Okay, and you're changing to front stance, but all you're going to do is leave your left hand where it is and move your front foot ever so slightly, four inches at the most, and then come up with the other hand. So you're, if I leave my feet where they are at the moment, this hand will come up, like so. Leave the left hand where it is, don't move the left hand. As long as your shoe toe's not flat and your shoe toe's correct, so 90 degrees, 90 degree angle, yeah? Leave your left hand where it is. Move your front foot into front stance and come underneath. And then, again, I'm sorry, I can't see you. So where my, um, I think this might be a tendon here, okay? Where, where you see my base of my thumb to my wrist, there's a nice little dent there. It's probably because I've been doing this for so long. That's why I tell people, but I'm sure it's just naturally my body. Middle, middle finger, other fingers either side to support this part of the, the technique. Okay, so it's joining. Joining, uh, augmentation, uh, connection. Uh, Morotto, we tend to use that te uh, terminology. Okay, so we're joining here, we're connecting here to make this stronger. So from this position here, back stance, pull down. We're going to pull down, we're going to pull down and draw it. our hips are at showman, front facing, pull down here. Pull down, pull down. I have no idea if that's coming across on the camera or not. I'm just going to see one more time if I can get this to preload, but at the moment it's not showing the class live, so I can only hope you're seeing it. No, I've got nothing at all, so I really hope you're all seeing this. If you're not seeing it, it was a great lesson, it was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Okay, so from this position, yeah, just going to recap quickly. Push out, punch one, the chest drop the hip, two, here, shoot one, shoot two, shoot three, and back four. Leave the left hand where it is, take the right hand and come up, and pull down. And you notice that I'm in front stance, front stance now, okay, not back stance anymore. So to show you this part, all the way through, okay, to see where we're gonna to go to the QI. My right knee is gonna come up through. My right knee comes up through, like a Maigeri, but we're not a Maigeri. We're gonna do a, a Fumakomi, Fumakomi stamping kick. So this is a kick to someone's lower leg, so beneath the knee. Okay, so we're pulling down here, knee up, and we're kicking into a stamping kick into the shin. That's the area that we're doing. As I said to you, this is the complicated part of the kata. So pull down here, knee up, through, stamp, and pull your hands in, into your chest as if you've grabbed hold of the person and you're pulling them on you. And that's the QI point. So the QI point, I'll show you. So from this position here, just here, knee up, and, and then turn, you turn shuto. Now when you get this right, it's really good. When you understand what it's for, it's horrible. Okay, so you can imagine someone's grabbed hold of your wrist, you're going to pull them down, you're going to break their leg, and how about them as you do? Okay, so um, it's quite an aggressive technique, and in fact, I say it's a very, very aggressive technique, but I think really kind of good when you make that connection. But as I say, for me, I found this particularly difficult. So we're going to go back to the beginning of the kata, and we're going to try to get ourselves to the key eye point. Um, and hopefully, hopefully you'll be with me um, in your own dojos uh, up to this point. Whether you are or not, there's a name to be seen because I have no idea. Okay, so us. Yui. Basai dai. And yui. So gi no kamai. Okay, so take your right knee up. Hand to the side. And storm that fortress. Really push forward. Looking straight ahead following your showman. Look over your shoulder now, left shoulder, left leg move, left leg move, inside block, 
hips are hammy, yaku inside block, reverse inside block, showman hips, showman hips. Right leg round, outside block, yaku, so soft uruki, uh, gyaku, hips at showman, uchiuki, hips at hammy. Feet together, step forward, soft uruki, outside forearm block, thumb stance. Inside block, gyaku. Inside block, gyaku. Reverse, left arm. Left arm on top of the right arm. Koshikamai, hip position. Take a breather. Okay, reconfigure your brain. You've done that first complicated combination of about six moves, seven moves. Okay, so now relax. Drop your shoulders again. Push out. Imagine white belt punch the center. Hachidachi open leg stance. Come off the chest, the opposite side of the body, okay? And an inside block feel in Uchiuki in Motodachi. Okay? Then again, go back to that being white belt position, Shokazuki Hachidachi. Yeah, and here. But don't think about inside block. You don't, you don't need to do the, the, the basic yoi positions of that. So from here, punch one, two, Again, that, I think when done correctly, it feels very, very strong and powerful. Okay, so from here, um, again, the, mate, the way that I remind myself of this is my right leg is currently forward, okay, and my left arm is my yoi position. So straight away, all I do is open my hands and I change into uh, Shutoki Kakutsudachi. And that's one, remember, two, three, and back, four. Leave the left hand where it is, come up with the right hand, bring the right hand down, using the left hand to pull it down into the body. Bring the knee up and through, and turn Shuto. So I'm just going to show you the kick from this angle, which again, I hope I'm in frame, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm not. Um, so if we go from this, this back stance position here, which I'm really well hoping this is in frame, so the front foot just moves across slightly and we pull down here. The knee comes up, okay, from this position here, and we pull down. So we're pulling in as we're kicking. So can you imagine pulling the person onto you and then shoot toe turning that way it would be? So from here, this is where I might kick them in. Yeah, very close to the bin, but not quite. So that's a stamping kick. Remember, we're grabbing hold of the person to the pelvis here, pulling them into ourselves. Very, very strong, very powerful. Once you've got it connected in your head, it's not easy. I do understand that, and I do appreciate that this lesson might be a little bit too advanced for the lower grades. But I hope you're having a lot of fun doing it, and if not, having a lot of fun laughing at me because I can't see you and I don't know what's going on this evening. Um, okay, so uh, we'll do up to that point again, okay, we'll maybe do it a couple of times, and then we'll try to continue um, as best we can. I'm not sure I'm gonna get the whole kata done this evening, but, I, but I'll see. I might just do the whole kata so that uh, the higher grades can at least go away with it. But we can always continue on Tuesday. It's not like we're very time limited to anything uh, nowadays. Okay, so right. Anyway, hand side kata, bas side eye. Jiai no my position, yoi. Knee up and striking each. And turning the inside block knee. Reversing by inside block sun. Back leg around, sotoruki chi. Hips at showing, remember. Ish. Come up and outside block. Yaku inside block. Left leg up, Koshi Kamai, left hand on the right hip. Drop your shoulders, relax, push out, get a breath. Punch straight, off the chest, drop the hip. Punch straight, off the chest, drop the hip. Shoot one, two, three. And back one, four. Leave the left hand where it is, right hand comes through, pull down. Relax your shoulders, don't pull them up. Bring the knee up and through, Kiyo, and turn Shuto. 
So the next move is very simple, step forward, shoot out. And the next move, which you won't see, but I'm going to do, is you pull back the front foot. And I'm going to show you that in a second, but you will end up here. Fists together. Fists together. Okay, so this, this is the bit where I'm going to have to face camera to show you what to do and then turn around to show you what it would look like in the kata. Not, not as easy, this bit. Um, pretty confident that we've put Bass I Die on our uh, YouTube channel, but I might be wrong. So in which case, if I haven't put it up yet, I will put it on there in the next couple of days. Um, I'm sure I've got an old video somewhere of me doing Bass I Die somewhere. Um, so, so I'll make sure that, that that happens, or as soon as we get a bit of nice weather, because it's chucking it down outside at the moment, then I will shoot a Bass I Die video for you so that you can at least follow it. Again, as I've always said with all kata, you can watch it on YouTube and watch it done in a hundred different ways. Okay, even though we're all doing the same style, lots of senseis put their own interpretation on it. I've learnt it several different ways. Um, uh, it's an evolutionary thing, kata. We follow a framework, okay, which was set many, many years ago, but, uh, but uh, uh, evolves. Okay, it constantly evolves, and we find sometimes better ways of doing things. Um, but we try to, as much as possible, certainly with the Sahi Shokan, is try to stick traditional as much as we can. But we must remember that karate came from the other side of the world and things get lost in translation, okay? Um, uh, and things get remembered in a different way to maybe they were uh, taken on board. Um, and so also, always we put our own little maybe twist on it, but I think, I think uh, Gishin Funakoshi Sensei was, that was his plan. His plan was that people evolved karate to it works for them. It wasn't just about working for him, it was working for everybody that, that studied the art. Um, and, and I really like that philosophy. So you can very much make it your own, even though it is within a framework, um, which I think is important anyway. Okay, so let's go back through uh, to, to, to the kata. We're going to get up to that point, do it again, and then I'll show you from the front to see what it looks like. That's it, right? So, if I do the QI this way, okay, and then show you hopefully what the next bit looks like, he says. So we're, we're here in the Kakuta Dashi back stance bit, this foot comes up and QI. One shoot-o forwards, shoot-o forwards. And bring the front leg, which will be your right leg, come back, high sukadachi fists together and just just sitting just above your OB naturally excuse me naturally naturally here and then from there I'm going to take the hands and the arms and I'm going to come up to the top joined as much as possible okay you've got to depend upon your uh, build shoulders arms body etc elbow joints arm joints all sorts of those things and um, to this position so once more from the key eye perspective so we've done here, ki yeah. So ki is as you pull in and kick, yeah? Yeah! You turn shuto, shuto ki forwards. Bring the right leg and the front right hand back together. Feet together, high sukadachi. Take the hands, rotate them around so they kind of get towards the face. So the fists are facing outwards. Not your shoulders up. Remember what we said about the shoulders, they just need to relax and drop down so it's more natural. Okay. Then we're going to bring our knee up to the centre, and as we do, we break. We break our arms, not literally, and we're going to double strike. Tet -tet do you remember this? We did this in Hian Shodan, we did this in Hian Nidan, we did this a lot the other day because I was showing you how to do it. Okay, we did a nice little combination with Tetsui in, so there's no excuses not to know what this is. But this is double, double. So our hands come here, keep those shoulders down, and here. 
And then to finish this nice lovely little combination off, an oizuki, sort of oizuki stepping punch, but not stepping. So it's almost like a jab punch, it's almost like kazamazuki, oizuki in between really. Okay, so again I'll show you from the kiai perspective. And remember all of this will be facing that way in a moment when we do the kata. I did say it was going to be confusing. So, shutoki position here. Come up and down. And kiai, itch, here! Shutoki, shutoki. Come back, feet together, fists together. Come up, rotate the hands round, keep the shoulders down. As the hands open, the knee comes up, double strike and oizuki punch. And well done. If you've got that far and you're still with me, awesome. If you're at home drinking tea or coffee right now, I should be very upset. Okay, so, we're hmm, probably halfway, not, no, not quite, probably not quite half, yeah, maybe halfway. So it's quite a long kata, so we're probably not, not going to finish it this evening, so I think that's a good thing, because I think that gives you an idea to practice this part, maybe up to the first kiai, or even those first six moves, okay, and then we continue, uh, we'll battle our die next week. Um, whether you're there or not, I'm really enjoying this lesson, so I think uh, I'd like to continue it on, on Tuesday rather than rush it right now. Um, I, I don't see any point in doing that. So, once more, uh, let's put this all together as if we're doing the kata. I'll talk you through it as much as I can and I'll slow it down as much as I can. Ayoi, and bass side eye. Ayoi, GI no kamai position. So, take the right knee up, left and right hands come to the side of the left hip here and storm the fortress. Inside block. Type feeling, augmented, remember up to this joint. Okay, hand open, not down here, but here. Center of the body, okay, cross leg stance. Look over left shoulder, put your left arm underneath, right hand pointing the direction of travel. So turn inside block, hand me, half facing. Inside block, yaku, shown facing. So front facing hips. Right leg cross, right hand comes here, soto ryuki. Uh, Gyaku, inside block, hips, showman, hand me, inside block. Now some people drop right down here, and I've, I've stopped doing that to be honest because of my knees, so I come here and right leg forward, right arm outside block. You can bend the knees there slightly. Inside block, left arm, inside block, left arm, Gyaku remember, okay. Left leg back, just step back into Hachidachi open leg stance, Kosh, Koshi Kamai position here. Keep your shoulders nice and low, push out with the left arm, tatty, remember vertical, point that towards your embusu, your front centre line, punch straight with the right hand, off the chest, drop that hip, so you drop the hip, twisting away from your partner, or attacker, okay, Oops. punch straight again, come here and twist away, twist, so this has got a lovely hip and twist position, okay, from here, right leg forward, Okay, that's my memory again. So right arm up, shutoki, knife hand block, a shutoki, and one more, ish. Sorry if I get too close to the camera, and back. Okay, so again, just relax in the body now, take a quick breath, think of where you are. Front foot moves across into front stance, ever so slightly, bring that right arm up and pull down. Don't move the left hand, as long as your shuto is correct, that would be correct. I'm gonna slide back, so I think I'm too close to the kick. Okay, so from this position here, come through, ki and shuto forwards, or you land in shuto the other way. Shuto step forwards, then back, feet together, fists together. Remember, we're going to bring our hands up as our fists get to the top, they twist and open, double strike, and oizuki. Next pass the kata, we will strike here. Pull up here, and then we continue with all sorts of wondrous things that I'm not going to show you this evening because it would be a shame to ruin it. It would be something to look forward to, a bit like Christmas maybe. Okay, so think of this as Christmas Eve and uh, Tuesday will be Christmas Day, trust me, when we get the, the, the rest of the techniques um, all sorted. So um, I'll, I'll continue doing that again, okay, I'll do it a couple more times before we finish tonight's lesson. But you, you can see that Bassard Eye is um, a, different, a different level again. 
So I think we do the five hiang kata, then we have a variation, big variation in teki, teki being just sideways. Okay, we did this on Tuesday. If, you're, um, if you weren't here and you see the video back, you see that teki is a different kata altogether. And then we move into basai dai. I think basai dai is another huge step actually um, into what I call the more senior grade katas. Okay, and this is why this is a kata that's often performed at senior dan gradings um, as the second or third kata of choice from the examiners. Um, I hope you agree with me that it is a really enjoyable kata to do once you've learnt it. Um, I think when I was a young brown belt um, in my early 20s, I didn't uh, appreciate it. I didn't have the strength physically to, to really be able to perform it effectively. So I, I think um, ju juniors, I think, struggle. Um, that squeaky noise is not my knees, by the way. It's just a door handle. Um, I need to clearly put some oil on. Um, so it may not feel right for start, to start with, but I assure you, and the, and the black belts will, will back me up on this, that eventually it becomes a, a kata that you, it becomes part of you and you really do enjoy doing it. Um, uh, but it takes a few years to really get them to understand it. That may be the case for all katas, okay, for all people. Um, I was never a kata specialist. It was probably the weakest element of my 3Ks, my karate, and um, I therefore struggled, I think, quite considerably with kata. But uh, the only way I've ever got better is just keep going, keep practicing, keep doing, keep trying new things and keep learning. Um, and, and that's the only way to do karate. So uh, it's a, a good kata once you've got it and it's very rewarding once you've got it. Okay. And right, os, and yoi. Okay, so uh, say the kata, bas side eye, and yoi, gi no kamai position, and take the right knee up and strike in each. Looking over the shoulder, turning inside block me. And Gyaku inside block sun. Outside forearm block soku yuki. Each. Inside block ni. Come up, feet together, outside block. Make that one transitional move. Inside block. Left leg step up, koshikamai. Koshikamai. Push out, pati shuto. Punch straight off the chest, drop the hip. Punch straight off the chest, twisting more motodachi. Shoot to a itch. Shoot to a knee. And some. And back one, she. Leave the left hand where it is, providing you're correct in your technique. Front foot into front stance, pull down. Knee up through and kiai, itch. Yeah! And shuto forwards. Shuto again, step forwards. And slowly come back. Feet together, fists together. Feet together, fists together. Slowly come up. Keep your shoulders down. As the knee comes up, the arms open. And strike. And punch. It's there. So remember this last bit of the cat that we're up to so far. Come up, keep the shoulders down, knee up, and strike. Okay. And yeah, horse. And you might relax. Okay, good, well done. Okay, I'm saying well done, you might not even be there. <laughs> this might be completely fail this evening. It'll be the first one that we've had problems though, isn't it? So uh, it's been pretty good up to now. Um, I was thinking back uh, just before the lesson that um, we've been doing this since probably the third week of March yeah. and we're now in July, which seems a ridiculously long time um, to, to do this sort of thing um, online. Uh, we haven't missed a Tuesday or a Thursday, or well, I certainly haven't. Uh, my intention is to continue that throughout the, the next month of July and August. Um, I truly hope that in September we'll be somewhere to get back to the dojos, if not before, um, but certainly with the government advice today around schools changing, again, um, then I'm hoping that the schools will allow us to use their facilities again. At the moment it's just not possible, and I work in a school so I can tell you that, from, uh, that is the truth. Uh, it's just no way can we, can we do that at this moment in time. Um, no martial arts should be taking place at all really at the moment. You can do it outside but in groups of up to six people with one instructor, so there's only five people taking part. You're not going to be insured because no one will insure you to do it outside. 
and so therefore um, that's why we're currently in this position where we continue just doing it online. I hope that's okay for everybody as I said on Tuesday and hope you still stay with us and continue with us. Um, so I'm just going to do the pattern once more, I'm not going to talk, I'm just going to get through to that point okay, for the high grades just so they can have one more quick run through. Okay, so ready? And then we'll finish the lesson. Bass side eye. So we're two thirds away, maybe now, yeah, maybe not quite. Two thirds away through the kata. Continue on Tuesday. Um, contemplating doing a weekend kata course or a kumite course or something online, obviously. Uh, so I'll let you know more details about that. If you're interested in another sensei says because you're really bored and you want to hear my life story, that's great. Let me know. Um, if you want other things doing, then then again, please make suggestions. Um, I'm on my own, <laughs> I could do with some help. I haven't got my team around me, which is uh, um, always difficult and challenging. So, um, you know, I'm, re I'm regurgitating some things, trying to make your lesson different. I don't think we've done a lesson the same actually since we started in March online. That's been my intention to try to variety, uh, try variety in different things. Um, and I'll keep doing that until people say, nah, it's rubbish. Or you don't turn up, I think is probably the other thing. So I'm hoping you've been with me all evening. If you haven't, then hopefully maybe this will have been recorded at least and I'll get to put it up. Um, straight after the lesson. I do apologise for all the technical problems. Um, I find it very frustrating, but uh, uh, can't do a lot about it. Okay, so we'll finish with the dojo kun. Uh, remember, masubadachi this time, so heels together, toes pointing out, hands by your sides. Okay, and ready? Dojo kun. Hitots jinkan kokan sei ni soromoto koto. Hitots makato no michi o muro koto. Hitots Doryoko no seishin yashina okoto. Hitots regyo a monjuro okoto. Hitots kekira o yo i mashimuro koto. Emre, os. Os. Thank you very much as always for joining me on this uh, lovely wet Thursday evening. Please look after yourselves and your families and keep training. And um, hopefully I will see you on Tuesday for part two of Bass I Die. Part two of Bass I Die, that's the plan. And uh, us, Holly Sun, Holly Sun comes to make a quick appearance. She doesn't look impressed because uh, um, I'm in the kitchen. So uh, hopefully look forward to seeing you on Tuesday um, and uh, uh, keep safe till then. Us. Oi suicide, arigato gazimas. Us. Us. Jamatane, I'm sorry I can't say goodbye to you individually because I can't see you.